a long face. If you are sad or upset, and everyone can tell, someone might say you have a long face. Why the long face? Did you and your boyfriend just have an argument? Your roommate might ask you. Maybe you're trying to comfort a friend who just failed an exam. You can retake the exam. No need to wear a long face all day. Don't pull a long face. You know that we can't go if it's raining. You say to your daughter after she finds out that you guys can't go to the park. As you can tell, if you have a long face, then you look sad or upset. Your sadness is written on your face for everyone to see. Apparently, a smile makes your face look wider, while a frown makes your face look longer. Hence, the idiom, a long face. For most people, it's easy to tell what their mood is just by looking at their face. You'll probably feel happier upon seeing someone who looks happy, and sadder upon seeing someone who looks unhappy. Regardless of the look on a person's face. Have you noticed how some people make others feel happy just by their presence, and how some people make others feel unhappy just by being around? It's a novel concept, but a small body of psychology research calls this affective presence. And it can either be positive or negative. Affective presence is an emotional signature, and is part of how you make others around you feel, as found in a 2009 study by Noah Eisencraft and Hilary Anger Elfenbein. People with a positive affective presence, therefore, make others feel good when they are around, even if they themselves have a long face. Normally, it's easy to tell if a person is sad or upset by the look on their face, so it's no surprise that similar idioms exist. In many languages, in French, they'll say, "To make your head six feet long." In Chinese, they say that you have worried eyebrows and a bitter face. In Japanese, it's simply, "Why the sadness on your face?" In Russian, they'll comment, "You don't have a face on." In Turkish, they will inquire, "Why are you hanging your face?" You've been wearing that long face all morning. Tell me what's wrong. Your good friend might say to you at lunchtime. Maybe your parents have noticed that you are a little upset. Why the long face? Anything we can help with? So, the next time you see that someone is upset, don't forget that you can ask why they have a long face.